Last night was crazy. I don't know what happened. But I woke up famous. According to Andy Warhol, your average fame shouldn't last for more than 15 minutes. But I'm not exactly sure how trustworthy his theory is. Это правда, что вы принимаете ледяную ванну каждую раницу? Ага, то я говорю, это старый. Вы практикуете йогу? Что думаете о новой волне? Сэр, ты любишь молодых мужчин? И теперь одна вопрос для радио. Что думаете о кухне итальянской? Что думаете о итальянской кухне? Я люблю ее, особенно спагетти и каннелони. Как вы спите? В пижаме или в ночной сорочке? Как вы спите? В пижаме или в ночной Neither. I sleep in two drops of French perfume. Very good, sir. Very good. Il neorealismo italiano è ancora vivo. Do you believe in friendship among nations? Monsieur, qu'est-ce que vous aimez le plus dans la vie? Sir, what do you like most in life? I like lots of things, but there are three things I like the most. And it's love, love, and love. Where do you plan to live now that you're famous? Where do famous people live? And most importantly, how? I gotta find somebody who can answer that. Like different strategies. In this building, uh, Rihanna used to live. We would often stake out like around here, you know, just park a car and sit and watch the entrance. And if something happens, you know, we follow Rihanna. Or, you know, you just circle around the neighborhood on a bicycle or on a car. And you're just looking around because this is the city, you know, like there are plenty of celebrities walking around and uh, you can just stumble upon somebody. <laughs> My name is Misha. I used to work as a paparazzi for about 10 years. Originally, I'm from Ukraine, Odessa. Here's the house of Heidi Klum. Here's the restaurant where lots of celebrities, including Leonardo DiCaprio, like to go. So you often sit in this park just discreetly like, you know, having lunch or pretending you're like reading something on your phone, but just checking out the street, just waiting who's gonna pass by. Sometimes celebrities just bicycle around here. Places like this, you just sit down on the bench, you know, pretend you're just a tourist or wherever, or you're just relaxing, but you always pay attention to this around, see what's happening. Well, Leonardo DiCaprio, he, I don't know if he still lives here, but he used to live in Battery Park City. He really hates paparazzi. He puts a lot of effort into hiding. You really need to like stake him out. He likes uh, bicycling and he always goes with a bunch of friends. He always has a gang of friends, never saw him on the street alone. So they bicycling along the West Side Highway. One time I was like at a hideout, you know, with a long, long lens. Uh, waiting for him to come out and I took some good photos of him and then at some point he he saw me taking photographs so him and his friends they started uh, chasing me so I was like running away from them you know on a skateboard and at some point they were able to catch up they encircled me and he himself he started threatening me saying I'm gonna find out where you live and I'm gonna come to your house and I'm, you know you're gonna regret you ever photographed me and blah 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 and I told him, dude, you know, you're not a mafia guy that you're playing in movies. You, you're just an actor, you know, start pretending you're somebody who you're not. Uh, if anybody can put threats, it's me. I actually know where you live, you know, I can actually come to your house. I just took my skateboard and walked away. Yeah, also, he's like a pretty angry guy, you know, he's very nice on, uh, on the screen. But uh, when it comes to interaction with paparazzi and stuff like that, not, not so cool. And the photos sold pretty well. Down this block, at the end of the block, this is where Jake uh, Gunhall uh, used to live. Another guy who I really, really hate. We had like a couple of, of altercations with him, like around here in this neighborhood. And then they were filming a movie on Brighton Beach, on, uh, on Coney Island actually. And this is actually where I live. 
or used to live at that time. He was uh, filming together with Naomi Watts, and I was the only one on the set. So it was like exclusive photos, like very good photos. I started taking pictures, and the movie crew came up to me, and they said, please, you know, that's distracting Jay Gyllenhaal from work. Can you please not, taking, not take pictures now, you know, blah, blah. And I said, okay, no problem. I'm not gonna be, you know, taking pictures all the time, but when something is actually is happening, you know, like main scene, I want to have an opportunity to take good photos. So I'm going to work with you guys, but you got to work with me too. And they said, sure, no problem, you know, we can do that. At some point, he put uh, Naomi Watts on his back, like running around the beach. And of course, I wanted to take this shot. And uh, he called his bodyguards and he told them to block me, to not let me take the photos. And uh, hold on. Yeah. Yeah. And I got really pissed off. I went to the director and I said, you know, didn't we have a deal? And he said, like, there is nothing we can do. It's Jay Gyllenhaal, it's his call. He, he doesn't want to be photographed. And I said, you know what? In this case, I'm not gonna let you film. And wherever they wanted to film, I was like getting in front of the camera, like abstracting their shots. And he got really pissed off, started yelling at me, like, get out of here. Nobody wants you on this set. Get a fuck out. And I'm saying like, dude, you're in my neighborhood. You like literally, you know, this is my fucking home. You like at my backyard. You know, if you don't want to be here, you leave. You know, I actually live here. <laughs> you know, like, uh, and yeah, I took my photos. I made some good money on that. So this is one of the main spots, like Baltazar. You know, this is where Victoria Beckham and David Beckham like to go, especially to celebrate uh, Victoria Beckham's fashion shows. Down that way is uh, Crosby Hotel, where lots of celebrities are staying. And uh, down this way is Mercer Hotel, also a spot for celebrities. And over there on Houston Street, it's where Kim Kardashian and Kanye West used to live. So this is like an area. Jason Statham uh, with his girlfriend, they were staying at Crosby Hotel that is nearby. We believe he was looking to purchase real estate here in New York. Yeah, naturally we wanted to see, you know, the apartments that he's shopping for to know where he may be staying next time, you know, when he's in New York. We staked him out uh, at a hotel, and once he was out, we started following him around. The guy was not in a good mood to begin with, and when he came out of the hotel, he spit at my friend. And uh, so that wasn't a good sign you know, <laughs> from the get-go. Few cars, like three, four cars, and a bunch of bicyclists. We were chasing, going all over. They went into this block. He was riding in a big SUV, uh, Escalade and he told his driver just back up, you know, and ram into this guy. So my car was the first one behind him, so he ran into my car, you know, did some damages to, to my car, then, you know, everybody surrounded him, and uh, we called cops because it's an accident. And some girls came out from the restaurant up there, and they didn't see anything what happened, but they saw an accident, they saw, like, an aftermath of an accident but because it was Jason Statham and it's one of their favorite actors and their fans, they said that uh, they will testify to police uh, against me, uh, telling police that I rammed into Jason Statham's car. So the police came, he gave him an autograph, and uh, yeah, they were completely on his side, made a fake police report and uh, let him go, you know, the, under the protection. They escorted him out of the scene. So I felt completely like cheated. My, my only consolation in that story was that uh, at the time I was uh, sleeping with a girl that he was hitting on. So that's the only good side of the story. <laughs> Nobody would sympathize with paparazzi. Everybody sympathizes with celebrities, with famous people. And uh, paparazzi are not uh, the city's favorites. You know, we're trying not to get into trouble to begin with, and especially not with the police, because nobody needs these altercations. 
one time I had a fight with uh, Alec Baldwin. I mean, who doesn't? Everybody has a fight with Alec Baldwin. Police came and they were really like pressing me and harassing me and they were certainly on his side. Uh, so yeah, police always sides uh, with rich and famous. David Bowie, uh, Bjork, I could never find Bjork. She lives in Brooklyn, she lives in uh, Brooklyn Heights somewhere. But I never, like, I could never find her. I was like looking for her, but never found her. I had a few tips that she's like in a park there, she's over there, blah, blah. By the time I was getting there, she was gone. So she's like an enigma. I got a little bit burnt out. I felt like I'm doing uh, stupid work, promoting stupid people and uh, stupidity in general. It used to be fun, you know, when I started. All the car chases, all the, you know, we call it a hunt. But after a while, you know, it just becomes mundane. And then what's left is just this stupid job, you know, chasing celebrities. Uh -huh.